In this video, I'm going to show you how I machined these panels used in my Slovenian beehive project. While I do plan on using some other techniques in the future, uh, in this particular instance, I'm going to be using my CNC. I will be starting with the bottom panel. Uh, I mount the uh, the blank panel stock on my CNC. In this case, I'm not using a waster board because we're not cutting through. And I reference the CNC to the top of the uh, panel. I add my dust shoe and power up my vacuum and start the machining operation. These are small pilots. Uh, while they don't go all the way through the panel, I'll use them later to in index some countersunk holes for uh, the screws I'll be using for assembling the panels. And that completes the uh, bottom panel. The top panel is identical to the bottom panel except for a dado that's placed near the front of the panel. Uh, this is used to engage the uh, inner front panel later. As with the uh, bottom panel, the pilot holes are added to the top panel. And that completes the top panel. I drill through the uh, pilot holes on both the top and bottom panels. I then flip the board over and add my countersinks. And that's it. My top and bottom panels are complete. Because of the size of the front panel, I need to mill the features uh, in two parts. First, I will mill the features uh, shown here. Note that the stock is oriented upside down. I will then flip the stock over and mill the uh, second set of features shown here. Okay, let's get started. Here I'm milling some of the slits uh, that will hold the frame spacers that I'll be adding later. The small entry holes are then cut out. And the pilots for the screws that will secure the frame spacers are added. To mill the remaining features, I flip the stock over. And in this case, it's now oriented in its uh, actual uh, uh, position. I then begin to mill the uh, remaining features. In this case, I'm milling the slit for the uh, lower uh, frame spacer and then the large uh, entry hole. And 
And then finally, we'll add the pilot holes for the uh, frame spacers. And uh, that completes the front panel. Both of the uh, two side panels uh, are also too large for the CNC to mill all the features at once, so they will also be broken down into two parts each. So part one, I cut uh, the features shown here. And then we flip the board and cut part two. I place my stock on the CNC and begin cutting the features. These are the uh, very thin slits used to align the um, hive separator uh, supports. They're about a sixteenth inch deep. Um, really make aligning the shelves easy. With uh, part one uh, features cut into the uh, side panel, I flip it over and proceed to cut part two. The two uh, retaining uh, slots are first milled and then finally I finish the uh, front dado. The uh, other side panel is cut exactly the same. It's just a mirror image of uh, this side panel, so the process is repeated. I remove the uh, panel from the CNC and drill through the pilot holes. The panel's flipped, and I then place my countersinks into each of the holes. And that's it. The panels are complete and ready for assembly. Be sure to visit the Kronos Robotics website uh, for more information on my Slovenian Beehive project. So, until next time.